So, you liked the Jaden video, didn't ya? Well, so did I. I also like it when my videos get like 200,000 views in a couple days. So I have a pretty good excuse to go back and watch this incredible channel one more time. My friends, we are back on Jaden Animations. Legendary animation channel that I am just now seeing for the first time because I'm weird. Last time we looked at some really fun ones and we got to know Jaden just a little bit. But today I have picked out some ones that seem crazy. Crazier. My horrible nightmare group project. Things I feel guilty about. These seem like some crazy stories. But we're gonna work our way up there with a with a short little one to get to know Jaden a little bit better. My childhood stories. I think this is another just like things that happened while I grew up. And so Jaden, we gotta get to know you just a little bit better. And then we will enter your nightmares. Thank you. Honestly, I'm really excited for this video. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's learn about the crazy childhood of Jaden Animations. I was a child once. Weren't we all? Alright, into the stories. I was a good kid growing up. I did what my parents said, followed their rules, ate what they put on my plate, maybe a bit too well. Flashback to the green bean incident. What is the green bean? It's, it's 10 seconds. I'm not going to pause and ask questions about the green bean incident, but we can't just let that go by and not acknowledge. My mom told me that when I was a small toddler, sometimes I'd have horrible tantrums and rip all the sheets off my bed and Relatable. sweep everything on my shelves Never onto mind. the floor in an emotional outrage. She'd have to crack my door open afterwards and say, are you done? So she could help me put everything back. If I wasn't, she'd lock me in my room for a bit longer as I continued being an indignant little tornado. Well, that's nice. That's your mom's reaction? Ripping off your bed sheets and knocking things onto the floor and screaming? And your mom's not like, Jaden, stop ruining all the things we bought you. She's like, are you done? And she'll help you. Are you kidding me? How did you turn out to be such a good person? <laughs> being able to do this without consequences as a child. I've grown out of that phase, luckily. I'm so conditioned to want to follow the rules and not do anything bad that people on multiple occasions have told me, Jaden, you're so good all the time. You've got to be rebellious every once in a while. And I say, Nay. no. Is that a start? <laughs> I was such an obedient kid. I've only been grounded once in my entire life. And that story is pretty pathetic. I was maybe six too. at the time and my parents were going out for a date night or whatever to get out of the house. S Understandable. Jax was a pretty exhausting kid to deal with, so they left us with a babysitter. Now, as a kid, having a babysitter is emotionally conflicting. On one hand, you don't want this rando middle school yeah. kid to be telling you what to do. Yeah. Go to bed. Psh, you're not my mom. You're not even old enough to go to the bathroom at school without asking for permission. Cat. Cat. Wait, I mean, I, can people at school go to the bathroom without permission? Is there an age when that's suddenly okay? No. Like, in high school, you still have to, like, I guess you don't need to ask for permission? I guess you don't need to ask for permission? Am I remembering this wrong? I guess kids would just get up and go sometimes. Guys, okay, comments, comments. Is that normal? Let me know in the comments if that's normal. I was a babysitter though. I got so lucky when I was like 12 or 13 or whatever, I was a babysitter and I was trying to save up money to get an Xbox 360. And so I had this kid who all we did was I brought over my Wii and a bunch of games and we just played games together for four hours straight and I got paid ten dollars an hour and that kid loved when I came over and I bought my Xbox 360. It was sick. Anyways, apparently this doesn't go as well. Let's see. You're not even old enough to go to the bathroom at school without asking for permission. Don't tell me what to do. But on the other well, hand, babysitters let you get away with way more than your parents. I oh guess. yeah, mom always lets us have three Oreos. It's okay. It's just fine, don't worry. <laughs> Normally we only get to have two Oreos. <laughs> so sneaky. It was getting late that night and before it was my bedtime, I wanted to play outside on our rickety little playset. Now, I'd already gotten ready for bed. I was in my pajamas and brushed my teeth, but I figured it's not past my bedtime yet, so everything's no, fair game. No, don't get your so pajamas dirty. So the babysitter watched me swing on the swings for like five minutes and then go down the slide one time. That's not what you do. As an adult who is like so into the science of resting and calming down because I'm crazy most of the time,
time. The concept of, hmm, I'm getting ready for bed, but you know what would be good? Accelerating my heart rate to 150 beats per minute. Let's go on the slide and the swings. That is like literally the worst pre-bed activity you could possibly have. In the morning when my parents were back, I woke up and they were like, you're in trouble. Ooh. Did I do something? Is what third do you Oreo? think you did? Third Oreo. I don't know. Why do adults say that to children, by the way? What do you think you did? I don't know. <laughs> Seems like you don't even know what I did and are trying to get me to wrap myself out. Oh. The babysitter told us that last night you played in the backyard in your pajamas. Exactly. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Don't get your pajamas dirty, Jaden. She didn't even comment on this, but I knew. So in Canada, we always take our shoes off when we go into a house. Like that's just like normal practice everywhere I've lived in Canada. But for some reason in the States, that's not a common practice. And I have to tell people, hey, I prefer when people don't wear their outdoor shoes in my house. Americans, do you really like wearing your shoes inside that's so uncomfortable. Anyways, my point being, I would never wear my pajamas outside if I'm playing on the swings and the slide. What? We don't want you playing outside in your pajamas. I get it. You're grounded tomorrow. Oh. What the? So I was grounded for a day because I played outside in my pajamas. Jaden, don't gaslight me, Jaden. Don't act like that's the craziest thing ever. Literally, don't play outside at night in your pajamas. Like, I agree. I agree with your parents, Jaden. Don't gaslight us. Okay, the grounding is extreme, but still. But I cheated like five minutes of TV by sneak watching from around the corner. Whoa. So who's the rebellious one now? There's this golf course a block or two down from my house that had a little lake and my dad and I would ride ducks. our bikes to it every once in a while to feed the ducks. Aww. Also, yes, I know ducks shouldn't eat bread. If you didn't know that, don't yes. feed wild ducks bread. Yep. Give them candy bars. No. We were feeding the ducks, minding our own business, when all of a sudden we hear from across the lake, Mabel! Mabel! That duck There's can There's a neighborhood talk. of houses next to the golf course so people could look out and see the golfers. And in the distance across the lake, some lady was yelling, Mabel! 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 Wonder where Mabel is. <laughs> Mabel, get over here! What are you doing? She, she, oh, she's talking to me. Mabel, you're in so much trouble. This whole time, I thought my name was Jaden, but it's Mabel. My dad and I didn't know what to do. This lady in the distance thought I was Mabel when I was not Mabel. I'm Jaden. I am Jaden, but she didn't know that. Mabel, what are you doing? Get back here! We pedaled away. Now, let's put ourselves what? in the point what? of view. That's the end. That's the end of that story. Dude, I need to know. There are two great mysteries in this life. One, what did the man with the heavy accent mean by onions on the side when James worked at Subway? Number two, who is Mabel woman? Who is Mabel woman? The two greatest mysteries that humankind has ever had to go through. Now, let's put ourselves in the point of view of this lady across the lake. She walks out into her backyard. Huh, what a wonderful evening. I think I'm gonna treat myself to some relaxation time out in my backyard. <laughs> Working my nine to five job and managing three children as a single mom sure is hard work, especially since my doctor says I need to lower my stress oh because my it's going gosh. to take a toll on my depression. Okay, maybe a bit too much creative interpretation. She's in the backyard. She looks out across the lake and what? P who's that? Is that, is that little old Mabel across the lake? How'd she get there? And wait, is that a strange man with her? What the? Mabel, what are you doing? Get over here. Uh, that girl is in so much trouble when she gets back home. I've told her so many times about the dangers of, is she pedaling away with him? I hope Mabel wasn't in too much trouble terrifying. when she got back home. Uh, sorry, Mabel. <laughs> Just a that would be terrifying. If that's the case, if that's what the woman really thought, that would be terrifying. I'd be screaming and crying. I wouldn't just be like, I wouldn't be angry screaming. I would be crying. Listen, bro, I've played Heavy Rain. I know how this goes. No! 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 
this story didn't happen necessarily during my childhood, more teenagehood, but I think it's kind of funny, so I'm telling it. I went okay. ice skating with a couple of friends one winter, maybe when I was 15, 16. It was busy, but not too busy. Side note, one time my friend invited me to go ice skating and we were the only two there. It was dope, but also felt like a weird ice rink twilight zone. Oh, I hate that anyway, theme song. Anyway, so we were skating around, you know, like what we went there to do. I'm not anywhere near close to a good ice skater, but I hadn't fallen on my butt or head, so I considered it a successful day. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna not take this opportunity to go into a tangent about how I'm a dope ice skater because I'm Canadian and played hockey for 12 years. I'm gonna choose to not use this moment to flex. I love skating so much, so much. If any YouTubers want to become my best friend and go ice skating with me that would be sick dude after a while we decided to do one more loop around the rink and right before we were done this little boy skates up to me i wasn't very old at the time but he was definitely younger than me maybe 13 or something i don't know i looked down at him confused and he goes i like your hat oh by the way i was Aww. wearing a knitted hat that looked like a raccoon so <laughs> it was a good hat will you hold something for me what? uh Oh, okay. And I'll never forget what he says. This is possibly one of the smoothest things I've ever heard from a little 13 year old oh, no. boy. My phone so he number. goes, Will you hold something for me? Oh, the and hand. I go, like, uh, okay, what is it? And he goes, My hand. <laughs> Heck yeah. I had no Riz expectations King. on what he was going to say, but that one definitely caught me off guard. I was so startled by his... What would you even call that? Pickup line request that I stumbled back, forgetting I was on ice skates. I didn't oh, fall, no. but I definitely did one of those weird twisty maneuvers that your body pulls when it's <laughs> off balance and trying not to fall down. The boy skated off because I think he wasn't expecting to actually physically startle me. Thinking about it, if you were to try and use a pickup line on someone and their immediate response is to be so surprised they almost fall backwards, that didn't work. I don't know how to interpret that. <laughs> Obviously, it's not what you want, but I mean, that's got to be some sort of achievement. <laughs> More childhood magic from the Jaden. Some good stories. I dig it. Now, are you ready to ramp up the craziness? We have introduced ourselves further to Jaden. And now we must go into the nightmares. My horrible nightmare group project. Um, yeah. This has almost 40 million views. So it must be a lot more entertaining than doing a group project at school. But let's find out, people. Let's go. Three. Two, one. All right, yeah, I know I just made a video about school stuff like a couple weeks ago, but you know what? I just gotta vent a little here, okay? You'll understand in a bit. For my graphic design history lecture, we had to make wow. a three to four minute video summarizing every chapter we covered during the semester. And the horrible twist was, it was a group project. Oh, now, no. the thing about a college lecture is that you don't know anyone. You come in, sit down wherever you want, listen to the professor talk for like an hour and a half, and then you leave. Maybe one time you'll forget a pencil and have to ask the person sitting in front of you for one, and then you forget to give it back and now you have some random stranger's oh, no, pencil. Horrible. But they don't care. No one cares. Welcome to college. When the professor dropped it on us that it was a group project, everyone was like, Oh god, Bruh. I freaking, now I gotta pretend like I know these hockey pucks. Basically, everyone just turned around to the closest person around them and was like, you want to be in a group? Okay. <laughs> How funny is that? That human beings, including myself, I hated doing this. I hated talking to a person I didn't know and saying, hey, do you want to be in a group? And people hate that experience so much that they are willing to risk having a terrible group partner because they don't want to interact with more people. Interacting with new human beings is so hard that you'd rather risk having the worst partners ever than talking to more than the first people you meet. I ended up with these two other girls and because I don't want to say their real names, I just Googled most annoying girl names and Google gave me Renice May and Blood Rain. Anyone out there named Renice May <laughs> and Blood sure, Rain? For sure, that'd be kind I'm of sorry, annoying. I'm sure you're a wonderful person, but Google has spoken. So, so now I've got Renice May and Blood Rain here in the group with me. <laughs> Renice May, what is that? Her? Nah, there. I know there ain't no Renice Mays in the comments. I know there ain't no Renice Mays. Don't go changing your name to Renice May and then commenting on this video like I am offended. Don't do it. 
don't do it. Now I've got Renice May and Blood Rain here in a group with me. The project was assigned to us like beginning of April, so we had about a month to get it done. We wrote down our contact info and went on with our day. I was pretty swamped with work at the time, so I wasn't oh, no. too concerned with getting started up. right away. Two weeks pass and no one was saying anything. At this point, I decided to take initiative and make a group text. Hey guys, it's Jaden from Design History. We should probably start thinking about the project soon. When are you all free? I didn't get a response, oh, but no. you know what? It's fine. I'm sure they've got their own oh, stuff to no. do. I won't judge. It's not a big deal. Another week goes by Another and week? I still haven't heard anything. All right, time to get serious. We've got a week to do this now and we've got nothing. We've got one text in a group chat saying that we should start thinking about the project <laughs> that no one's answered. That's what we've got. I took double initiative and decided to get things going oh, by splitting no. up the chapters evenly between us. There were seven in total, which meant that one of us was going to have to cover three while the others only had two. I was nice and gave the three chapters to myself. Group project chivalry. Then I set up a Google Drive project so we could all work on it without needing to physically get together and texted wow. everyone again. I made a plan with them that Monday. Meet up on Friday to record our notes and slides Did so we they we can edit the video for next Monday. Wow, that's really cutting it close, Jade. So they did reply. Definitely let us know that, re that these Renice May and Blood Rain replied. I've been on the edge of my seat. Like, I thought they were going to go ghost, and then you were going to find out they had different groups or something. My mind was going in so many directions. I know. Not as creative as I could get, but I wasn't about to go crazy overboard here. Okay, we've got a good plan. Not too much stress. A bit last minute, but it's all organized, so it's not that bad. I had a lot of work during the week, but I got my slides and notes done and was ready to film on Friday. But Thursday oh night, boy. I get a text from Renice May. Hey, so I can't meet up with you guys tomorrow because I have something going on. Huh. I got that feeling. Like this was the start of something really bad. Oh, the no. little snowball of horribleness that was about to start barreling oh, down the no. hill and crash right into my oh, little cabin no. of composure. <laughs> What? I mean, we planned this on Monday. You should have told us that it didn't work for you or something came up. What about meeting over the weekend? I have work from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m.? No way, Renice May. That's cap. Stop the cap. I am not buying that Renice. You know what? You know what this is? Renice May, this is you right now. This is you right now. And I ain't buying it. But you can buy these IDK hats at robertidk.net for a limited time. If you're digging this video, open up a tab and pick yours up. And they arrive really quickly. It literally will take like a week or so. Thank you. I have work from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. This Bruh. frickin' before too much time passed, I updated Blood Rain on the situation. We came to the conclusion that we could just do audio recordings of our notes and edit them on top of the slide oh so Renice May could record on her own time. Oh Alright, back on track. Bit of a bump there, but it's all good now. We've still got a solid plan. Back when we were still planning everything, we decided as a group to have Renice May edit the video, but I decided... Yeah, no, I do not trust this girl. Yeah, you're the creator, I'm gonna edit the whole video. Jane. I know. It's not balanced at all with the amount of work I had to do compared to the other girls. <laughs> like, you know what? It's fine. Whatever. That was my life, too. I feel like every YouTuber was the video editor in group projects, right? Because I, Jaden, I completely relate to this. Whenever we had to do a video for a group project, I had to, like, take the reins on, like, everything. I did, like, all the work. But I was like, yo, it's sick. I know know how to edit. I've been doing it since I was 12 years old. <laughs> so it was like I liked doing it, but also I just enlisted myself to do all the work. It's better than worrying all weekend about if Renice May even knows how to upload a video Renice to the internet. May. I get a text Friday morning from Blood Rain. I'm at the library. We're still meeting up, right? What? I asked day. her why and she Wrong said day. to record. Uh, okay, we don't need to meet up for that, but I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she doesn't know how to record audio Aww. or something and she needs help. So I head over to the library with my microphone and we get a table in the corner. All right, so just read off your notes into the mic and I'll put them in the video. And you know what this girl does? She starts oh, reading no. the most horrendous oh, no. notes I have oh, ever heard no. in my entire being. This girl, th this is what she did, right? When I made my slides in the project, I had terms, vocabulary, oh, and key no. artists from the chapter. The notes look like this. A few main points and Very terms, good. and then a couple artists. The reason they looked so barren is because in my audio, I was going to explain them. <laughs> this girl, th Blood Rain, literally looked at my slides and said, All right, this is what I have to do. Oh, no. <laughs> She's out here reading titles. She's just out here reading titles. No, Blood Rain, you cannot do that. No one's gonna watch my Jaden animation review videos if this is the video. Things that happened while I grew up. 39 million views four years ago. 
222 views per hour. My childhood obsession with animals, 39 million views three years ago. No, 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 no. You gotta explain, explain. them. Wrote her notes exactly like my slides oh, no. and thought she could just read them oh, like that without no. any details or cognitive thought. <laughs> Are you kidding? How did you even pass grade preschool? Oh, no. I just sat there in disbelief while the girl read the saddest excuse for notes in the most unenthusiastic oh, monotone no. voice you could imagine. When she was done, she just turned and looked at me like, I'm done. You, <sighs> do you have any notes explaining uh, what you talked about? No? I don't know what any of this stuff is. Can you get some notes explaining all your terms and artists? Because for the video, we have to explain why you put them in the video, you know? Oh, okay. I got back to my dorm and had to take a breather. Okay, that was pretty bad, but it's fine. She'll fix them, send them to me, no. and I can get started on the video. No, she won't, because Jaden, you're dealing with a certified dingus. <laughs> if she was smart enough to give you notes and explain it good and come back with good work, she wouldn't have been dumb enough to read it the way she did in the first place. Jaden, you're dealing with a dingus, and you're gonna end up having to write explanations for these things. I know where this is headed. No big deal. Things seem pretty crap, but I'm staying off optimistic. It's fine. Okay, guys, so can you get me your audio by tonight or tomorrow so I'll have time to edit the video Ooh, by Monday? It's not Thanks. happening. They both sent their audio to me past midnight on Saturday. What? All right, all right, all right, all right, oh, all right, no. all right. So I've literally got one day to basically do this entire project now. I'm pretty ticked about this, but I'm too tired at this point to get angry. Like I said, I had a lot of work to do during the week, and I just don't have the energy left to exert being mad. I woke up at 8 the next morning and got to work. Okay, so first things first. I've got to edit all our audio together. Oh, I opened up all our clips and put them into the audio software. Remember how the video is supposed to be 3 to 4 minutes long? This Seven. was 16, 16 minutes. minutes! What the frig? That's 400% over the limit! Okay, so now you wish Blood Rain did have her short notes. It looks like Blood Rain was doing the right thing from the get-go, Jaden. Who's the silly buns now? <laughs> I'm laughing because it hurts. <laughs> their recordings went past the time limit just on their own without anything else. <laughs> what? Oh, shoot. I guess I'll have to listen to this whole thing and see if I can somehow manage to edit it under the limit. I hit play and began listening to the recording, and I couldn't believe what was playing back to me. This is how much I didn't know the girls in my group. I hadn't even heard their voices before this project. The first part was Renice Mays, and she had the thickest, almost undecipherable oh, no. Asian accent oh. I have ever come across. I really don't mean to be rude or Play disrespectful or clips. any of that. It's freaking hard to learn a second language. Massive props to whoever is bilingual. But come on. My roommate came in and I played her the recording and her facial expression morphed into a I am both in disbelief and extremely sorry for you. <laughs> At one part, Blood Rain literally recorded herself on her phone in a car. Wow, look at this great audio. What are you doing? Oh, just recording audio for my final project, nothing much. I ended up spending two and a half <laughs> that actually hours wasn't just that bad. cutting all our audio down. I think it still ended up being like five or six seconds over, but I couldn't do anything else about it. And I didn't even have the video portion started. So sparing you all the painful details of how I literally spent the entire day working on the dumb project by myself. No, you know what? Not even by myself. My team was literally tripping me up, making me end up doing more work than if I just did it completely on my own. And you know how I kept saying that I was really busy during the week with other things? Yeah, I yes. meant busy as in every single day leading up to that Friday, I had a major final exam for a different class to do. Oh, that's so true. Like, not even mention it. Like, that adds so much additional stress. It's like this whole project, it wasn't just for sc school. <laughs> school in general. It was for one class of like, what, five or six courses probably? Exam time is the worst. You just have to like pray that you don't get multiple exams on the same day. Oh my gosh. I, you know what guys? I so often think about like, oh, I really miss university. It was a special time. Like part of me wishes I could go back. And now thinking about that level of stress, it's like, oh my gosh. No, 
Never again. Never again. Ah! This is making me relive some demonic memories, guys. This is making me relive some pain. You guys suck. Just as I started exporting the final project, one of my really good friends came by to see if I wanted to go get something to eat. He noticed how absolutely <laughs> awful I looked. What happened? I'm dead. I, I went on the swings in my pajamas. <laughs> I spent what was left in the day with a few of my buddies. Then at 11.30 in the freaking PM, oh no. I get a text. <laughs> 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 that was one of my worst voice cracks ever. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> That was one of the worst voice cracks I have ever done. Cameron, let's play it back. We gotta play it back. In the freaking PM. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's 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 do that again. At 11:30 in the freaking PM. Oh no. I get a text from none other than Renice May. How's the video going? Wow, I'm glad you're so concerned with the video that you decided to check up on it 30 minutes before the turn in time. I finished it after eight hours of editing. Oh, cool. Oh, Not cool. Even oh, cool. A God fri flippin' thank you. I literally did the entire Project Free Twats in the span of one day, but I guess a thank you is too much to ask for. My bad. Oh, Sorry. cool. You know, I'm not an angry person. Pretty much the opposite. And I don't like confrontation. As absolutely pissed off as I was at these girls, I honestly didn't have any energy left to rant to them about how they were being literal <sighs> dirt white. <sighs> Sorry. I just spent like 30 seconds feeling your stress for you. I just, I just, I just embodied that stress. I, I don't need to put myself through these situations. I need to separate myself from this stress. I honestly didn't have any energy left to rant to them about how they were being literal dirt wipes. So you know what I did instead? I'm the one who's editing the video, right? I'm the one with complete control over what goes into the final project, uh -huh. right? It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here, boys. Sometimes the sweetest types of revenge uh, are best let's executed go. passively let's go. after the storm without anyone looking or expecting it. <gasps> that's amazing! That That's awesome! Oh, The really painful thing about it, though, is you probably all still got the same mark. You obviously deserve more, but professors in university, they don't know all of their students personally, so there's no way of them knowing, so they're not gonna reach out and ask you like who did the most work I'll give them the best grade it's like no they'll just give everyone in the group the same grade that's the painful thing about university aside from many other painful things of course <laughs> I can't believe that was a time in my life I started my YouTube channel while I was still in university so much time has gone by since then it's crazy how's it going friends it's Robert ADK here and I know I've made so many vlogs lately but I'm just gonna make this one more vlog I need to explain what's going on with the channel uh, and what you guys have to look forward to over the next few weeks and in the future, whatever. I'm actually just finishing up school. This is my last year of school ever, 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 ever. Um, unless I fail something, which, you know, let's cross our fingers. But that's pretty much what I'm what I'm here to talk about. <laughs> End it off with the about as well, you Canadian, you college Canadian, you call Canadian. Okay, sorry, I don't need to roast myself this hard. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. New to this YouTube world. Not a hardened vet like me. Anyways, sorry, this is so weird. <laughs> we have one more, homies. One more. Also, that was a very weird thing for me to unearth that video. I'm very uncomfortable right now, so if you want to support me, despite my discomfort, I would really appreciate it if you booped like on this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, if you could boop that button too, I would really appreciate it. Here's your time to do it. Thank you, I appreciate you. Okay, people, now we're gonna check out things I feel guilty about. The one thing I'm very concerned about in this thumbnail is that looks like a mouse or a rat. I really hope that she doesn't do any bad things to mice or rats in this video. That would genuinely make me like genuinely upset. And I know it sounds like I'm doing like a, a meme right now, but like actually that would upset me. So hopefully that's not, <laughs> so hopefully that's not the case. Are you ready, my homies? What do you feel guilty about, Jaden? It's time to find out. In three, two, one. Forgive me, Father. 
before I have sinned. Oh no. You know how in my last video I said I was an obedient child who never stepped out of line or yeah. broke rules growing up? Yes. I wasn't lying, but I do have things I've secretly carried on my shoulders for a long time and still feel arguably guilty about to this day. Okay. This video isn't just for your entertainment. It's going to serve as me clearing my conscience and finally being free from these chains of guilt. Okay. Also, don't get your hopes up. None of these stories involve murder. Sorry, I didn't kill anyone. Oh, jeez, Jaden. You're making my job easier by not doing that because I literally, I'm not gonna support a murderer. So thank you for not murdering. Because if you were a murderer, I could not watch your videos in good conscience. Every once in a while growing up, my dad would let us sit in front of the television while we ate dinner. That would be a special treat for my brother and me because mom wasn't home from work yet and she wouldn't let us watch Fun TV Bob. during the week. This is when we were really young, by the way. Don't worry. I'm allowed to eat in front of the TV at least three days a week now. We were eating in front of the TV one night and I wanted to have chips for dessert. Our dinner rules were always eat dinner and then get a little treat or dessert afterwards. And I wanted chips everyone's favorite dessert. So my dad Heck got the bag yeah. of chips and normally my parents poured us bowls, but there wasn't much left. So he just gave me the whole bag and said, don't eat them all. Dude, I am so obsessed with health that the concept of dessert is like something I never even think about at any point in my life. Like in my mind, I legitimately forgot that people eat dessert after food. Like genuinely, I forgot that concept existed. I never eat dinner and then I'm like, hmm, I've earned myself a treat. <laughs> Like, I'll have a treat if I have a treat. Like, that does happen. I'm not saying your boy never picks up the ice cream Sammies, okay? I ain't saying I never do that. But as, like, a regular ritualistic thing, eating something unhealthy after dinner, like, I haven't done that in, like, 10 years. He got two cool parent points that day. Just it was going bag. good so far, eating chips in front of the TV. This is the height of luxury! I looked down, <laughs> and I ate all the chips. Dang it! What do I do? My dad gave me one rule. My parents are never gonna trust me ever again. They're gonna disown me. My life is there over. I'm gonna be living in a box okay, on the Jane. side of the road and I'll have to search trash cans for chips. I might as well pack my things and get a head start right now. Okay, wait a minute. Is this what you feel guilty about? Because I was ready for some heavy stuff, Jaden. Are you saying you still feel guilty about this or are you gonna do something else that you actually should feel guilty about? Wait a minute. Do you create fake chips out of your school notes and your dad eats those and you feel guilty? about that? Well, there's only one way to find out. I started to panic and my little kid brain started racing to think of some sort of way to avoid punishment. A rat! A giant rat burst through the door, oh. slapped oh. the bag out of my hand, ate all the chips, and escaped out the okay. window. Okay. And also stole an extra cookie on its way out. Okay. No, they wouldn't believe that. <laughs> I don't think rats eat chips. Oh, I am so glad. I am so glad that that did not go to a bad place. But you know what? Jaden, I know you can't feed a rat a chip, but guess what? I can. Hola. Hola, Ralphie Dos Nachos. Mr. Mouse, Ralphie Dos Nachos, hello. Hello, cute boys. How's it going? Did you eat the chip? Oh, big yawn. Did you eat the chip, Ralphie? Was it you? I don't have chips, but I do have Nilla wafers. I'll admit I did this once this morning. That's why there's crumbs. Oh my gosh, they're gonna go crazy. Okay. I'm gonna give the bigger one to Ralphie because he's smaller. And I'm gonna give the smaller one to Mouse because he's big and doesn't need to get bigger. Okay, muffins. Hey, babies. Ralphie, over here, buddy. Yes, over here, Ralphie. When he realizes I have food. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Ralphie. There you go, buddy. And Mouse is gonna see he has food? Yep, <laughs> hello, buddy. There you go. Good boy. Go enjoy that, baby. Yeah, you get your snack on in there. You get your snack on too, buddy. You get your snack on too in the darkness. It has been a little bit tough, not gonna lie. Just Ralphie and Mouse are the two that are still with us and they are the biggest wimps in the entire universe. When I would give Rocco or Moki or Nobu something like that, they would eat it right there and you could see all the cute footage. But these guys are just little wimps. Isn't that right, buddy? Mouse, you're a big wimp, right? 21. You are. Jax finished eating early and went into the backyard to play. So what I ended up doing was going, Jax, do you want some chips? And I gave him the empty bag. Then I went over to my dad and said, Dad, I have something to tell you. I'm sorry. Oh no. 
Jacks ate all the chips, and I went into my room and hid. I really don't think my brother got into any trouble because I didn't hear anything else about it, and my dad probably just threw Not the bag away. Deal, But yeah. since I never got caught or came clean, I've held this guilt about that whole situation ever since. There's layers to it. Not only did I lie to my dad and falsely accuse my brother, but on top of it all, I gave Jax an empty bag of chips. <laughs> a perfect little regret cherry on the ice cream sundae of shame. And I really think that when my dad and brother watch this video, they'll be like, I don't remember this at all. Or Because care. I want to say it was like 13 years ago, which makes me feeling guilty even more pointless and stupid because it doesn't even matter and no one cares and I'm the only one suffering from it. This is a pretty effective way to learn a lesson. I've never finished a bag of chips since that day. <laughs> What a weird story. Like, yeah, literally no one is going, your dad and your brother, there's no way they care about that 13 years later. But you just put yourself through so much agony. And it's such a like menial story, but she's such a good storyteller that I just listened to three minutes of you ate all the chips. <laughs> that is very impressive, not gonna lie. One time I was at recess in second grade playing by myself in the grass. You know, like a freaking loser. This group of girls came up to me and said, Hey, we're playing tag and chasing the boys. You should help us. And I was like, Well, beats sitting here and getting eaten by ants. Yeah. So I started running around and chasing the boys with the rest of the kids. It was all normal tag at first, but somehow it started escalating to extreme tag. Whoa. Extreme as in people started throwing rocks. Being a self-conscious child who had no understanding of personal <laughs> choices, I was like, Oh, Well, I guess we're doing this now. Oh, so I threw no. a rock and hit this kid in the back of the head, which may I add, took some top-notch skill and coordination considering we were What both happened? running and he was a good distance away from me. Not to brag or anything. You did not come out, did you? Ow! I'm telling. Oh, freak. Oh, no! Oh, it's the worst. Oh, kids are the worst. This is a mutually agreed on thing. And then just because you won, now you're going to get in trouble and none of those other kids are going to vouch for you. They're going to completely clam up. None of them are going to take responsibility for this. Oh, Jaden, I feel your pain, homie. That's brutal. I watched this kid start running off to tell a teacher and I knew I had to think of something oh, no. fast. And don't tell me I should have just stood there and faced the consequences nope, of my nope, actions. Get out of there. You know, as a kid, you wouldn't have done that. This only works if we're all honest with ourselves here. The first thing I could think of was to go hide in the bathroom because everyone knows teachers can't burst into True. kids using bathroom stalls. True. That is definitely illegal and weird. I camped out in the girls' bathroom until I heard the recess whistle and went back to class. Mm. Obviously, the teacher was told what happened. Uh. I couldn't have run away from that, so I still got in trouble. But the guilt trip doesn't end there. The teacher told me I wasn't allowed to go to recess tomorrow, which is reasonable. Uh. I can own up to that punishment. Just tell, why don't you say everyone was throwing rocks, including that kid? Why don't you say that? Sometimes kids are too dumb to be honest. Literally, the truth, like, the kid shouldn't be in trouble. Whoever takes the blame when something like this happens, usually, if they told the truth, not only would everyone accountable be held accountable, but you would be in less trouble. But kids are too stupid! But she also said I needed to write a letter to my parents telling them what I did. I don't know what pushed me to do this because I always did oh, no. what grown-ups said, but something in my head told me... Don't. You're not writing that letter. And so cool. I didn't. Later that day, the teacher came up to me and asked, Did you write the letter? Yes. Yes. Please don't ask to see it. Please don't ask to see it. <laughs> mm, good. And so my parents <laughs> never found out until right now in this video. Please don't ground me, mom and dad. I don't know the statute of limitations on throwing rocks at little boys, but it's been eight years. I think I'm safe. I'm not really guilty about this next story, but it's resonated within me for a very long time, so I'm gonna add it to this video. One late night, I was on the couch playing my Game Boy, Game Boy. and it was very much Just past like my bedtime. I don't remember exactly what happened, but I was probably pushing it with wanting to stay up a bit longer, and my mom was in my room telling me I needed to go to bed. It got to the point where she pulled the, I'm gonna count to three, and you better have the living room cleaned up, 
and be in bed or else. Everyone knows counting to three means serious business, so yeah. I sprung up Scary. and immediately started getting my crap together. The thing was, the ottoman was pushed out, and normally it's supposed to be against the couch, oh, no. so I had to push it back. Oh, but being no. a scrawny five-year-old the size of a poodle meant it was probably equivalent to trying to push a semi-truck. I kept pushing and pushing with all my strength as I heard my mom in the background going, one, two, Eventually, I just Three. crumbled to the ground in defeat and started crying, and my mom found me on the floor curled up next to the ottoman. Whoa. I felt guilty I couldn't move the ottoman. But hey, <laughs> you don't need to feel bad for me. Look at me now. Whoa! Jeez! Jaden, you're strong. Yeah, it's pretty inspiring. <laughs> so, yeah. That's crazy. Jaden, I could only I could only dream of gaining that level of pure strength. This was an absolute marathon. This is the longest I've recorded a video since Poppy ah! Playtime. That absolute nightmare. Again, incredible videos. Shout out to Jaden. If you're watching this and you haven't checked out your channel, you may literally be insane and eligible for compensation. Here's Jaden's channel. Make sure you check it out. She did all the hard work and I'm just the silly person saying silly things. Here are a couple videos. I possibly mentioned them in this video, but I genuinely don't remember because I've been recording for an hour and a half. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate you. You're great. Have a wonderful day. Peace.